Welcome, Reverend Mark Abernethy, back here at the foot of the cross in the sanctuary at Wapping Community Church. I was watching TV last week on a night that I can't even remember. And I was kind of flipping through the channels and I stopped on a channel to watch a show that I learned a few minutes later was called Lives Well Lived. And it was a show that was hosted by Nicole Wallace, but I don't think it was a show that had any particular political agenda. It was a show instead that was designed to tell some of the stories, to tell the stories of the more than half a million people who have died of COVID over the past year in the United States, to tell some of the stories of the people who have been left behind by those who have died, to tell stories of first responders and healthcare workers and um, people who just um, have been affected or impacted in some way by this pandemic. It was compelling. I encourage you to watch it, Lives Well Lived, if you have a chance, you can find it on YouTube, I know. Um, and MSNBC has shared this show on its network more than once. It was powerful to hear the testimonies of people. There were stories of two young women widowed because their young husbands died unexpectedly of COVID. There were stories of um, a nursing supervisors in inner city hospitals. There was um, the story of people who lost parents and siblings and um, dear friends and what kind of a, an emotional impact those losses have meant in people's lives. It was all about storytelling, this show, Lives Well Lived. And I was reflecting on this show. It was one of the better shows that I have seen in a long time, really profound and emotional. And I started to think a little bit about storytelling. Once upon a time, there was an amazing storyteller who lived in the land of Galilee. And he used to travel the countryside and communicate a particular message. It was God's message for God's people. And the way in which he did that primarily was by telling stories. We've come to know those stories nowadays as parables. But I imagine once upon a time when Jesus was preaching and teaching and walking across the countryside, people simply referred to him as the teller of stories or a storyteller. And Jesus told all kinds of stories. He told them for audiences that had people who were grieving and people who were sad. He told stories that made people think. And even more than that, he told stories that made people feel something in their heart and in their spirit. He told people things because... Jesus knew that telling stories was a way in which human beings helped us, stories help us to communicate what's important in our lives. And, and stories, by telling our story, we don't bury the emotion and the sadness and the feeling that sometimes goes along with what we go through day by day. The same thing happened in this particular special on TV. It was an effort on the behalf of the host, Nicole Wallace, and the, the guests who came and appeared on this show, to have us not as a country bury the stories of these people who, are, who have died as a result of the pandemic and have been affected in so many ways. We need to tell their stories. Their stories are sacred. Their lives are sacred. And it's important to name who they are and to tell the stories. Because if we tell the stories over and over, it's the only way that all of us will heal from this pandemic. It will take a long time, and there are probably some people who will never heal. They will feel the empty spaces in their lives from this pandemic for years and years to come. But if we're able to honor the memory and to tell the story of people who have died during this pandemic, it seems to me like that's exactly what we need to do. We can't get to the end of this pandemic and pretend or, or somehow ignore all of the lives lost and all of the people who were so special in our country and indeed even around the world. So how is it that we tell the story to one another? And it has me thinking about storytelling in general. All of us has, have a story related to this pandemic. 
Um, many of those stories are sad and lonely and isolating, and they're stories of frustration and disappointment. Indeed, for some of us, there are stories of hope and stories of optimism and stories even of um, happiness and newfound transformations in our own lives. But how important it is for us as we can see, perhaps, hopefully, God willing, the finish line of this pandemic, how important is it for us to tell the story of this year and to tell it to those whom we know and even to those whom we don't know particularly well. So I encourage you, if you haven't told the story of this past year to anyone that you know and love, to try and do so. Tell the story of what COVID has meant in your life. If you have someone who died that you know and love, tell the story of their life. Let us be storytellers in the name of this pandemic, in the name of Jesus Christ who told stories before us. Tell your story to me even. Um, I would love to hear what the story of COVID-19 has been for you over the course of this past year. So with that plea, that wish, that hope for storytelling for each one of us, I invite you to pray with me. Gracious God, continue to carry us through this Lenten season on the wings of your Holy Spirit. Keep the life and ministry of Jesus Christ ever before us, the great teller of stories who charted our way in faith and who draws us back to you, God, along this Lenten way. And help us, gracious God, to empower those around us that each of us might tell the story of these past months to those whom we know and love and those whom we don't know particularly well. No matter what age we may be, no matter where we may live, no matter our ethnicity or gender or sexual orientation or race or faith, this particular pandemic has encouraged or created a story for each one of us, gracious God. So help us to tell the story and help us to tell it well. For each of us, indeed, gracious God, are a part of lives well lived, and we remember lives well lived, and we do that by the stories that we share. So bless us, gracious God, as we move ever closer to Holy Week and Easter, that we might tell stories well and that we might remember and honor one another well, and that we might lift up the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Savior who goes before us this day and always. We pray these things in his name. Amen. God's blessings to each and every one of you. <laughs>